It's amazing what doesn't exist in the real world. For example, in the real world, there aren't any things, nor are there any events. That doesn't mean to say that the real world is a perfectly featureless blank. It means that it is a marvelous system of wiggles. we describe things and events in the same way as we would pick out particular groups of stars in the sky and call them constellations, as if they were separate groups of stars. Well, they're groups of stars in the mind's eye, in our system of concepts. They are not out there as constellations already grouped in the sky. Most of us think compulsively all the time. That is to say, we talk to ourselves. And I remember when I was a boy, we had a common saying, talking to yourself is the first sign of madness. Now, obviously, if I talk all the time, I don't hear what anyone else has to say. And so in exactly the same way, if I think all the time, that is to say, if I talk to myself all the time, I don't have anything to think about except thoughts. And therefore, I'm living entirely in the world of sounds, and I'm never 
in relationship with reality. When we make music, we don't do it in order to reach a certain point, such as the end of the composition. If that were the purpose of to get to the end of the piece, then obviously the fastest players would be the best. Likewise, when we are dancing, we are not aiming to arrive at a particular place on the floor, as we would be if we were taking a journey. When we dance, the journey itself is the point. When we play music, the playing itself is the point. Thank you so much. We don't have too much time. Uh, we would like to play the, our very last song, the title song from our brand new album, which just came out at Jazz House Records. And this song is called Vortex of Silence. And believe it or not, this is not the vortex that my wife, sometimes she is just wondering that maybe that's the Vortex would suck me in, but not at all. This is something very different. And uh, we would like to say goodbye with a few sentences from a fantastic scientist called Carl Sagan. Maybe you should talk about the Voyager. 
spacecraft, it had a, a very, very important job to do. And uh, this is the spacecraft, the very famous one, that uh, its very last mission before it uh, left our solar system was to turn back and take a photo and send it back to Earth. And uh, it's a photo about totally nothing, totally nothing, just a dark space except one tiny pixel, one pale blue dot, what is actually Earth. And uh, let me let me brought these sentences from Carl Sagan about Earth, the pale blue dot on that picture. Look again at that dot that's here. That's home, that's us. On it, everyone you love, everyone you know, everyone you ever heard of, every human being who ever was, live all their lives. The aggregate of our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and covered, every creator and destroyer of civilization, every king, every young couple in love, every mother and father, hopeful child, inventor and explorer, every teacher of morals, every corrupt politician, every superstar, every supreme leader, every saint and sinner in the history of our species live there on a moat of dust suspended in a sunbeam. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark. In our obscurity, in all this vastness, there is no hint that hope will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves.
Thank you very much. Daniel Ferenc Szabó on drums. Vince Bartók from Double Bass. This is the Berlin Game and Trio. Meet at Jazz House Records. Do not leave Tinka Shainafalon. Thank you very much.